my friends and students and all those who are interested in physics. This is uh, one of a long series of videos that I've decided to make uh, which will have either one problem or a couple of problems that I'm trying to explain in detail so you understand the concepts better. I'm going to start with a problem dealing with equilibrium of objects and to illustrate the concepts we consider a meter stick and what you see right now is the the weight of the meter stick acting vertically down through its center of gravity which is assumed to be at 50 centimeters and as you know weight is the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity we can assume that the mass of this meter stick is 80 grams and it's acting down vertically down through its center of gravity which is at 50 centimeter and the meter stick is suspended by two strings one is at 20 centimeter the other is at 90 centimeters two strings attached to a rigid support on top maybe the ceiling or some very strong support that does not move and there are two objects suspended one at the 10 centimeter mark which is here that's a hundred gram mass and the other is at the 70 centimeter mark and that's a hundred and twenty gram mass so you have the two gram two masses hundred gram and hundred and twenty grams so you have the tension in the strings acting up as I have shown we we'll call them T1 and T2 those are the forces the tensions acting in the string now that's the meter stick just a little bit more colorful now and we have to find the tension in the two strings the mass of the meter stick is 80 grams 100 grams here is 0 0.1 kilogram multiplied by 9.8 will give the the weight of 100 grams which is 0 0.98 newtons similarly the mass of the meter stake was 80 grams so it's 0 0.08 kilogram times 9.8 which gives 0.784 newtons I will take that as 0 0.78 newtons in our calculation and 120 gram is 0 0.120 kilogram times 9.8 gives 1.8 176 Newton which will take us 1.18 Newton now there are two conditions for stable equilibrium first condition is that the total upward forces should be equal to the total downward forces or so to say the net force along the y-axis is zero so you have two upward forces T1 and T2 acting up so T1 plus T2 should be equal to the sum of these three forces that are acting down. So sum of the upward forces is equal to the sum of the downward forces. That sets up one equation. When you add all those three, you get 2.94 Newtons. So we know we have one equation T1 plus T2 is 2.94 
Now the second condition for equilibrium is that when you take the torque about a certain point, any point, the net torque must be zero, which means the total counterclockwise torque should be equal to the total clockwise torque. I have decided to take the torque about the point 20 centimeters because then automatically the torque due to T1 would be zero because there's no distance between T1 and 20 because it's acting right at 20. Because remember that torque is the product of the force and the perpendicular distance from the force to the point where you're taking the torque. So T1 does not produce any torque, but if you look at it carefully, you see there will be two clockwise and two counterclockwise torques. Okay, we're taking the moments about the 20 centimeter mark. And that is in order to cancel out the torque due to T1. Okay, that, those are the two counterclockwise torques. So with this point in perspective, if you look at it, you see that the 100 gram is trying to rotate it this way, that's counterclockwise, and so is T2, it's also trying to rotate it counterclockwise. So those are the two counterclockwise torques. The clockwise ones are the 80 gram, which is the mass of the meter stick, and the 120, because they are trying to rotate it in the other direction. Now that so we are using the two conditions, net force is equal to zero, which gives us one equation. And now we're going to get the second one using net torque, which is tau is equal to zero. Okay, so the first one is 0.98 times 10, because the distance between them is 10. And when you take T2, it's going to be T2 times this distance, because remember we're taking the torque, about 20, and T2 is at 90, therefore the distance is 70. And I don't... Well, you need not change this into meters because as long as it's the same on both sides, it doesn't matter. So I'm keeping it in centimeters. So T2 times 70 must be equal to 0 0.78. All right, so what's the distance of that one? Isn't it 30? Yes, it is because it's acting at 50. We're taking the torque about 20, so it's 30. Plus... What's the distance of the 120? Isn't it going to be 50? Yes, 50 centimeters. So multiplying that, you get 9.8. This is 70 T2. And then when you multiply and add those two numbers on the right-hand side, you get 82.4. So take 9.8 to the other side, you get 70 T2 is 82.4 minus 9.8, which is 72.6. Therefore, if you divide 72.6 by 70, you're going to get T2 as 1.04 Newton. Now go back to equation 1, substitute into that, and you would get T1 plus 1.04 is 2.94, from which T1 is 1.9 Newtons. So this is a good example of how we use the two conditions for equilibrium, namely the net force is equal to zero and the net torque is equal to zero. Thank you. I hope you understood. Try to share this video and like it so that physics is made popular. Thank you.